So I was watching Chuck do a video over on his channel about demagnetizing your Ender 3 bed, uh, hashtag Filament Friday. It was a great video. He put a lot of stress on it. Put up. He, he had, at one point, uh, 10 pounds of weight on there and the bed up to 110 degrees. So that got me thinking. Um, I'm going to show you in a minute, even on the Creelty, if you try to buy one of their beds, they'll warn you that you shouldn't turn it up past 70. But I actually have, and I haven't had any problems, even though I've warned you here on the channel before not to do it. Um, today we're definitely going to be turning that around, not just because of his findings, but I also did my own research. And if you pay attention and watch close, you'll find out exactly why you don't need to worry about demagnetizing your bed. Alright, so here we have the Amazon site. Over here there is a Creelty Original Ultra Flexible Removable Magnetic Mat. It is by Creelty 3D here, brand name Creelty 3D. Um, but as you can see, if I click <coughs> Expand Details, there are some things in here that some people don't see right away. None of this really matters though, and I'll tell you why in a minute, because Chuck's definitely right. Um, you're not going to demagnetize your bed at 70 degrees, and I'll explain why in a minute. This product is ready for use with PLA filaments only. This is their actual uh, product description. This will not prevent prints from warping. This product is not for use with high temperature printing applications above 70 degrees Celsius. So um, they're pretty much telling you right there if you turn it up, you're going you're gonna to lose the magnetism. But uh, like I said, take that with a grain of salt. First of all, um, I mean, you have this. Uh, I don't know what a dimension it's maybe, maybe, I don't know. I love the cruelty guys. Maybe they should get some spell checking on that. Maybe do a little fact checking on the magnets and I'll show you what I mean about the magnets right now. Now here we have a page that's all about neodymium magnets and how they do lose their temperature around 100 degrees Celsius and the longer they're subjected to that temperature or the higher the temperature they're subjected to for a specific duration, the faster they lose that temperature. Um, I did put the link to this down in the description. You're welcome to check it out. Basically, it's telling you to heat up some water to boiling, uh, drop your magnet in there for 15 minutes, and then see if your magnet can pick up any paper clips. Uh, interesting experiment, but it has nothing to do with our magnetic bed. So we're going to move on. All right, so my next stop on the journey down this rabbit hole was uh, thinking, well, you know, obviously Chuck had his up to 110 degrees Celsius, so um, you know, that's over 100. So couldn't be that kind of magnet. What are the kind of magnets they got? Maybe uh, I searched some high temperature magnets. Uh, and this was what came back for the high temperature magnet. Um, now they refer to this as M M SMCO, excuse me. It's uh, samarium cobalt, okay? Um, and if you look here, this will operate in temperatures up to between 250 and 550 Celsius, okay? So I mean, we're looking a lot better. They have this handy graphic here for demagnetization curves and all of that, um, but don't bother squinting. You're just gonna hurt your eyes because to be honest, that doesn't matter either. And this is why, because flexible magnets are made out of a material called ferrite. Basically, it's a rubber powder and a, and a, a ferrite molecule. They mix them together in different ratios, and the more ferrite, the stronger the adhesion to the bed. But with these ferrite magnets, um, their magnetic adhesion actually increases as they heat up to a certain point. Now, you'll see here, uh, and this is true for most flexible magnets because they're printed or, ex or, or excuse me, they're extruded or pressed uh, in the same manner. And rare earth magnets like those neocadmium and the uh, cobalt can't be uh, powderized and pressed and remagnetized like this. So. Um, the ferrite magnet can be used up to 250 degrees Celsius and in some cases up to 300 degrees. And there is no way that you're going to hit that with your bed. So I would say that absolutely it is a myth. It has to be. I mean, um, they, like, like I said, this is the only way they make strip magnets. You can do all the research you want. Um, I put links to all these pages down below. Uh, you'll see the various temperatures. And, and with your own digging, you'll also see that these magnetic beds that they have, the sheets, um, these are all... Uh, ferrous rubber compound uh, that's pretty good at high temperature resistance so um, don't worry about demagnetizing your bed go ahead and crank it up if you want to try a little uh, ABS or PTEG don't be scared 